Laren Day, a notable actress during Hollywood's golden age, stood out for her Mormon faith, which she kept private despite the vices that many of her contemporaries succumbed to. Known for her work in films and television, the actress was often observed abstaining from the indulgences that were prevalent in the industry. Her unique background and lifestyle choices added an intriguing layer to her career and the roles she portrayed. Delving deeper into her life and work reveals a fascinating juxtaposition of faith and fame. Let's explore this classic Hollywood star's journey and the impact she made in the world of entertainment. Laren Day, born on October 13, 1920, in Roosevelt, Utah, was raised in a wealthy Mormon family with seven siblings. Her father made his living in the grain business, while her great-grandfather was a prominent Mormon pioneer. The actress's childhood was spent in Utah until her family relocated to California during her teenage years. It was in California where Laren's interest in acting began to take shape. Growing up in a large family, Laren was no stranger to the hustle and bustle of a busy household. Her father's successful grain business provided a comfortable lifestyle for the family, allowing them to enjoy the benefits of their wealth. However, it was Laren's great-grandfather's legacy as a Mormon pioneer that had the most significant impact on her upbringing. This legacy instilled in her a strong sense of faith and values, which would later shape her personal and professional life. The actress's family moved to California in search of new opportunities, and it was there that Lorraine discovered her passion for acting. The sunny state offered a thriving entertainment industry, and Lorraine was eager to be a part of it. Her family supported her dreams, and she began pursuing acting opportunities in her new home. Lorraine's move to California marked the beginning of a long and successful career in Hollywood. She would go on to become a well-known actress, appearing in numerous films and television shows throughout her career. Despite her success, Larry never forgot her roots and remained true to her Mormon faith and values throughout her life. Larry Day, born in 1920, began her acting journey with the Long Beach Players, a local theater group that also featured a young Robert Mitchum. This group provided the foundation for her future career in Hollywood. After graduating from Polytechnic High School in 1938, she secured her first Hollywood contract with the prestigious Samuel Goldwyn Studio. This marked the beginning of a long and successful career in film and television for the actress. Laren Day, an actress who first appeared in the 1937 feature Stella Dallas, didn't initially gain much recognition from this role. However, Archeo Pictures recognized her potential and cast her in several westerns alongside George O'Brien. One of her earliest films with Archeo was Moonrise Over Madeline, where she showcased her talent. During her time at RKO, Day developed a reputation for her versatile acting skills and professionalism. She became a familiar face in various film genres, including westerns, dramas, and comedies. Her work with RKO helped establish her as a rising star in Hollywood. In addition to her film career, Day had a passion for theater and started a Los Angeles-based playhouse for Mormon performers. This venture allowed her to connect with other artists who shared her faith and provide a platform for them to showcase their talents. It was during this time that she met Ray Bradbury, a science fiction writer, and they became good friends. Day's contributions to the entertainment industry extended beyond her acting roles. Her dedication to promoting the arts and providing opportunities for other performers was a testament to her passion and commitment to the industry. Her legacy continues to resonate with audiences today, and her classic films remain a beloved part of Hollywood history. In the late 1930s, actress Larry Day began to make a name for herself when she signed a contract with MGM. This significant career move brought her to the attention of many, and she started to gain considerable recognition in the Dr. Kildare series. The actress's portrayal of the character, Nurse Mary Lamont, became a popular fixture in the series, endearing her to fans and critics alike. Apart from her work in the Dr. Kildare series, Larry Day also appeared in several other notable films. In 1942, she starred in Alfred Hitchcock's My Son, My Son, a gripping drama about a father's obsession with his son's success. The actress's performance in this film showcased her versatility and talent, earning her praise from both audiences and critics. Moreover, the actress also appeared in the 1941 film The Bad Man, alongside Ronald Reagan. This classic Western film told the story of a gang leader who terrorizes a peaceful town and Laren Day played the role of a schoolteacher who becomes embroiled in the conflict. Her performance in this film was well received, further solidifying her status as a talented actress. In summary, Laren Day's contract with MGM marked a significant turning point in her career, bringing her to the attention of many 
and earning her recognition in the Dr. Kildare series. Her appearances in films such as My Son, My Son, and The Bad Man showcased her versatility and talent, cementing her place in Hollywood history. Laren Day returned to RKO Pictures in the mid-1940s with a lucrative contract. Following her departure from Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, this marked a significant turn in her career as she began to work with some of the most prominent stars of the time. Among them were John Wayne, Cary Grant, and Lana Turner. In the film The High and The Mighty, Day starred alongside Wayne, playing a flight attendant who displays courage and grace under pressure. The film was a critical and commercial success, earning several Academy Award nominations. Day also worked with Cary Grant in Mr. Lucky, a romantic comedy about a gambler who falls in love with a socialite. The film was well received by audiences and helped to establish Day as a leading lady in Hollywood. In addition to her work with RKO, Day also appeared in The Strange Love of Martha Ivers with Lana Turner. The film noir classic was a critical success and showcased Day's versatility as an actress. As the 1950s dawned, Day transitioned away from acting and into hosting her own TV series and radio show. She found success as a journalist, covering topics such as politics, fashion, and entertainment. Day's radio show, Daydreaming with Larian, was a popular program that featured interviews with celebrities and discussions on current events. Her TV series, The Larian Day Show, was a daytime talk show that focused on fashion, beauty, and home decor. Throughout her career, Larian Day proved herself to be a talented and versatile performer, capable of excelling in a variety of roles and mediums. Her contributions to the world of entertainment continue to be celebrated and appreciated by audiences today. Larian Day's career extended to the stage, where she captivated audiences in productions such as The Time of the Cuckoo and Lost Horizon. In The Time of the Cuckoo, this classic actress embodied the complex character of Leona Samish, a woman navigating the intricacies of love and self-discovery in Venice. Similarly, in Lost Horizon, Day contributed her talents to a compelling stage adaptation of the beloved film and novel. In her personal life, Larian Day was married three times. Her first marriage was to James Ray Hendricks, a man whose name may not resonate with many, but whose union with Day marked an important chapter in her life. After Hendrix, Day married Leo Durocher, a well-known baseball manager. Their marriage was the subject of much intrigue, as it brought together two individuals from vastly different worlds. Lastly, Day married Michael Grillix, a television producer. This final union endured until Day's passing in 27. Throughout her life and career, Laren Day left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Her stage performances were a testament to her versatility and enduring talent, while her marriages offered a glimpse into the complexities of life and love. Larry Day's interest in baseball led to an exciting chapter in her life when she married Leo Durocher, the manager of the New York Giants. This union resulted in her writing the book Day with the Giants, offering readers a unique insight into the world of professional baseball. The actress also hosted a related TV program, further solidifying her connection to the sport. Growing up in a devout Mormon family, Laring Day adopted and maintained strong faith and values throughout her life. She refrained from using alcohol, tobacco, and curse words, setting a positive example for those around her. Her commitment to her beliefs was unwavering, and she became a role model for many, both in and outside the film industry. Delving deeper into her faith, Day was actively involved in various religious activities and organizations. She used her platform as an actress to promote her values and inspire others to lead clean and honest lives. Her dedication to her faith was as strong as her passion for acting, making her a well-respected and admired figure in both circles. As a devout Mormon and a talented actress, Lorraine Day left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment and faith. Her influence continues to resonate with audiences today as her work and values remain relevant and inspiring. The actress's life serves as a testament to the power of faith, integrity, and dedication reminding us all of the importance of staying true to our beliefs and values. Laren Day was not just any Hollywood starlet. She stood out for her strong political beliefs and devout faith, diverging from the typical vices associated with the film industry. The actress was a vocal supporter of Republican figures such as Ronald Reagan and Dwight D. Eisenhower, using her platform to advocate for her political beliefs. As the actress grew older, she moved back to Utah after the death of her third husband. She spent her twilight years living with her daughter, staying true to her roots and away from the limelight. Despite her absence from the public eye, her legacy as a classic Hollywood star and political advocate lived on. 
Throughout her life and career, Larian Day remained committed to her values and beliefs, making her an atypical Hollywood starlet. Even in her later years, she continued to uphold her devout faith and political views, leaving a lasting impact on those around her. The actress's life and career serve as a reminder that not all Hollywood stars fit the traditional mold, and that it's possible to stay true to oneself, even in the face of fame and fortune. In the glamorous world of Hollywood, Larian Day was a name that stood out. Born on October 13, 1920, in Roosevelt, Utah, Day began her journey in the entertainment industry as a radio actress. She quickly made her way to the big screen, appearing in over 40 films throughout her career. Day's talent and beauty caught the attention of audiences and industry professionals alike. She became known for her versatility, excelling in a variety of genres from drama to comedy. In 1942, she received a coveted spot on the MGM Studios All-Star List, a testament to her rising status in Hollywood. One of Day's most notable roles was in the film Forever Amber, where she played the lead character, Amber St. Clair. The film was a major success, and Day's performance was highly praised. She also starred in several popular mystery films, including The Locket and The High Wall. In addition to her work in film, Day was also a successful television actress. She starred in the popular medical drama The Doctor, and later went on to host her own show, Daydreaming with Laren. Throughout her career, Day was known for her professionalism and dedication to her craft. She was a trailblazer for women in the entertainment industry, paving the way for future generations of actresses. Day passed away on November 10, 27, but her legacy lives on. She will always be remembered as a talented and inspiring actress who turned the dreams of many into reality. Laren Day was born Laureen Day on October 13, 1920, in Roosevelt, Utah. She was the youngest of four children in a Mormon family. Her father, Thomas Churchill Day, was a banker, and her mother, Mary Edith, a homemaker. The family moved to California when Lorraine was still a child. Growing up in the San Fernando Valley, Lorraine developed an early interest in acting. She participated in school plays and was a member of the school's drama club. Her older sister, Marjorie, was already an established actress and served as an inspiration for Lorraine. Lorraine's first big break came when she was discovered by a talent scout while performing in a school play. She was soon signed to a contract with MGM and began her film career in the late 1930s. One of Lorraine's earliest mentors was the legendary director, George Cukor. He took Lorraine under his wing and taught her the ins and outs of the film industry. Lorraine later credited Cukor with helping her to develop her acting skills and preparing her for a successful career in Hollywood. Another significant influence on Lorraine's career was her husband, film producer Michael Gordon. The two were married in 1941, and Gordon played a crucial role in helping Lorraine to secure leading roles in high-profile films. Despite her success in Hollywood, Larry never forgot her roots. She remained active in the Mormon community throughout her life and often spoke about the importance of faith and family. Larian's upbringing and early experiences shaped her into the talented and grounded actress that she became. Ever since Larian Day was a young girl, she was drawn to the enchanting world of acting. Raised in a Mormon family in Utah, Day found solace in the local library, devouring plays by the likes of Shakespeare an Ibsenator her passion for the craft was ignited when she stumbled upon a copy of The Complete Method Actor by Lee Strasberg. At the age of 17, Day moved to California to pursue her dream of becoming an actress. She enrolled in the Pasadena Community Playhouse, where she honed her skills and learned the intricacies of the Stanislavski method. Her dedication and talent were quickly recognized, and she was soon offered a contract with MGM. Day's big break came in 1939 when she was cast as the female lead in Too Hot to Handle alongside Clark Gable. The film was a huge success, and Day's chemistry with Gable was palpable. From then on, she became known as the First Lady of MGM, and went on to star in numerous films throughout the 1940s and 1950s. Despite her success, Day never lost sight of her passion for the craft. She once said, Acting is not just a profession, it's a way of life. It's about exploring the human condition and telling stories that resonate with audiences. Day's dedication to her craft and her ability to bring complex characters to life left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Laren Day, born Laura Martha Esther Wiggins in 1920, was a woman of great ambition and determination. Raised in a Mormon family in Utah, she dreamt of becoming an actress from a young age. However, her path to stardom was not an easy one. Financial struggles were a constant challenge for Day and her family Despite these hardships, she remained focused on her dream. 
at the age of 18. She moved to Hollywood with just five in her pocket, demonstrating her unwavering resilience. Once in Hollywood, Day faced skepticism from industry professionals who doubted her acting abilities, but she refused to let their doubts discourage her. Instead, she took matters into her own hands and began attending acting classes, honing her craft and building her skills. Day's determination paid off when she landed her first film role in 1937. However, her success was short-lived as she struggled to find consistent work in the industry. Rather than giving up, she took on various jobs, including working as a model and a radio actress to make ends meet. Despite these challenges, Day remained committed to her dream of becoming a successful actress. She continued to audition for roles and eventually landed a contract with MGM in the early 1940s. This contract marked a turning point in her career as she went on to star in numerous films alongside some of Hollywood's biggest stars. Throughout her career, Day faced numerous obstacles, but she never let them stand in her way. Her resilience and determination allowed her to overcome these challenges and achieve her dreams. Today, she is remembered as a trailblazing actress who paved the way for future generations of women in Hollywood. Larry Day's breakthrough moments are scattered throughout her prolific career, but one of her earliest and most significant roles came in 1939 when she starred in My Son, My Son. This film showcased her talent and led to a contract with MGM, where she quickly became a popular leading lady. During her time at MGM, Day was often cast in medical dramas, earning her the nickname the First Lady of the Screen. However, it was her role in the 1945 film The Man in the Gray Flannel Suit that truly solidified her status as a serious actress. In this film, she played against type as a woman struggling with her husband's infidelity, and her performance was widely praised. According to critic Bosley Crowther, Laren Day gives a performance of quiet intensity and deep feeling that is most impressive. Meanwhile, her co-star Gregory Peck noted, Laren was always a consummate professional. She brought a depth and complexity to her character that was truly remarkable. Another turning point in Day's career came in 1946 when she was loaned out to RKO for the film The Locket. In this psychological thriller, Day played a woman with a troubled past, and her performance was once again met with critical acclaim. Director John Brom said of Day, she had a rare ability to convey both vulnerability and strength, often in the same scene. She was a true artist. Throughout her career, Laren Day continued to challenge herself with complex and nuanced roles, earning her a place as one of Hollywood's most respected actresses. Her contributions to the world of film are still celebrated today, and her legacy continues to resonate with audiences and industry professionals alike. Laren Day, born April 13, 1920, was an American actress who brought a unique style and approach to her work. She was known for her versatility and ability to portray a wide range of characters, from sweet and innocent to strong and determined, Day's artistic vision was deeply rooted in her personal experiences and worldview. She once said, I believe in simplicity, I believe in telling the truth, and I believe in treating people the way I would like to be treated. These values were reflected in her work, as she often chose roles that highlighted the humanity and complexity of her characters. One of the things that made Day's approach to acting unique was her emphasis on naturalism. She believed in avoiding artifice and pretense and instead strived to create authentic, and believable performances. She once explained, I think the most important thing in acting is to be real, to be honest, to be true to yourself and to the character you're playing. Day's naturalistic style was evident in her performances, which were marked by a sense of ease and simplicity. She had a gift for making even the most complex characters seem relatable and real, and her ability to convey emotion with subtlety and nuance set her apart from many of her contemporaries. Despite her success in Hollywood, Day remained grounded and humble. She was known for her kindness and generosity and was deeply committed to using her platform to make a positive impact in the world. She once said, I feel very fortunate to have had the career that I've had, but I also feel a responsibility to use my success to help others. In addition to her work as an actress, Day was also a talented writer and director. She wrote and directed several films and television shows and was known for her ability to bring out the best in her collaborators. She once explained, I love working with other people. I love the creative process, and I love seeing an idea come to life on the screen. Throughout her career, Laren Day remained committed to her artistic vision and process. She approached her work with a deep sense of purpose and a commitment to authenticity, and her unique style and approach continue to inspire and influence actors and filmmakers today. 
Lauren Day, an actress who graced the silver screen during Hollywood's golden age, left an indelible mark on the industry. Known for her versatility, she excelled in various genres, from drama to film noir. In the 1940s, Day became a household name, particularly for her role in the Dr. Kildare series. She played the dedicated nurse Mary Lamont, a character who embodied compassion and professionalism. This portrayal challenged traditional gender roles, showcasing a strong, independent woman in a male-dominated field. Day's impact extended beyond her on-screen presence. She was an early advocate for actors' rights and fought for fair compensation and better working conditions. In an interview, actor and director Warren Beatty praised Day for her courage and determination, stating, Laring Day was a trailblazer, using her influence to pave the way for future generations. Day's influence also resonated in storytelling. She starred in Hitchcock's Foreign Correspondent, where she portrayed a woman caught in a web of espionage and intrigue. This role demonstrated that women could be more than just damsels in distress, inspiring filmmakers to create complex and dynamic female characters. Moreover, Day's technique was noteworthy. She brought depth and nuance to her roles, often using subtle gestures and expressions to convey emotion. Her co-star, Lou Ayers, once commented, Larian Day had a unique ability to communicate with her eyes, drawing the audience into her world. In conclusion, Larian Day's contributions to the film industry were significant. Her acting style, advocacy for actors' rights, and groundbreaking roles continue to inspire and influence trends, techniques, and storytelling in Hollywood. Larian Day, an accomplished actress, led a life that extended beyond the silver screen. She was a woman of faith, and her strong Christian values influenced her career choices. Day was a devout member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and her beliefs often guided her decisions both personally and professionally. In her personal life, Day was a loving wife and mother. She married four times and had four children. Her family was her top priority, and she made sure to spend quality time with them despite her busy acting schedule. Day's family life influenced her work, as she often chose roles that allowed her to spend time with her children. Day was also passionate about various philanthropic efforts. She was a staunch supporter of the American Red Cross and served as a member of its Board of Governors. Day was actively involved in the organization's efforts to provide relief to those affected by natural disasters and other crises. She also worked tirelessly to promote blood donation and was a spokesperson for the Red Cross's blood program. Moreover, Day was an advocate for mental health awareness. She was a board member of the National Committee for Mental Hygiene and worked to promote mental health education and reduce the stigma surrounding mental illness. Day's dedication to mental health awareness was inspired by her own struggles with depression. In addition to her philanthropic work, Day had a deep love for music and dance. She was an accomplished pianist and often incorporated her musical talents into her acting roles. Day's love for dance began at a young age, and she continued to dance throughout her life. She even appeared in several musical films, showcasing her dancing skills. Day's personal values and interests were deeply intertwined with her professional life. Her faith, family, philanthropy, and love for music and dance all played a significant role in shaping her career. Day's dedication to her values and interests made her a respected and admired figure both on and off the screen. Laren Day, a remarkable actress, left an indelible mark on the film industry. She began her career in the 1930s and quickly became known for her versatile roles in various genres. Her work in Foreign Correspondent and Mr. Lucky showcased her talent and range. Day also became a household name as a regular on the Lux Radio Theater, further solidifying her status in the industry. Despite her success, Day remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She once said, the most important thing in life is to dare yourself. This advice resonates with aspiring professionals in any field, encouraging them to take risks and push themselves to grow. For those looking to break into the acting world, Day suggested honing one's craft through education and training. She believed in the importance of understanding the technical aspects of acting, as well as the business side of the industry. Day also emphasized the value of perseverance and resilience, as rejection is a common part of the acting world. As for the future of the industry, they would likely encourage aspiring professionals to embrace new technologies and platforms. She was known for her adaptability and willingness to try new things, and would likely see the value in exploring new ways to tell stories and connect with audiences. In terms of her own legacy, they would likely hope to be remembered for her contributions to the industry and her dedication to her craft. She once said, 
I want to be remembered as someone who gave her all to everything she did. This sentiment is a testament to Day's enduring impact and the mark she left on the film industry. Larian Day's journey in the entertainment industry was marked by her unwavering passion and innovative spirit. Born on October 13, 1920, in Roosevelt, Utah, she began her career as a radio actress before transitioning to film. Day's versatility allowed her to excel in various genres, including drama, comedy, and film noir. She became a household name in the 1940s, known for her roles in Mr. Lucky and Forever and A Day. Day's enduring impact is evident in her work as a pioneering actress, one of the first to advocate for actors' rights and fair compensation. In the 1950s, Day transitioned to television, becoming a trailblazer in the medium. She starred in several successful series, including The Loella Parsons Show and December Bride. Day's ability to adapt to new formats and technology showcases her innovative spirit and passion for storytelling. Throughout her career, Laren Day remained dedicated to her craft, constantly pushing boundaries and challenging herself. She proved that creativity and perseverance can lead to a successful and fulfilling career in the entertainment industry. Day's legacy serves as a reminder of the power of creativity and the importance of taking risks. Her journey inspires us to pursue our passions, innovate, and persevere, even in the face of adversity. After all, it is through creativity and determination that we can leave our mark on the world. Let's take a moment to appreciate Larry Day, a truly remarkable actress. With a career spanning over three decades, she left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. From her early days at MGM to her memorable performances in films like Foreign Correspondent and Dr. Kildare series, Day showcased her versatile acting skills. Her work continues to resonate with audiences today. If you're a fan of Laren Day, we'd love to hear your thoughts on her work and legacy. What's your favorite Laren Day performance? How has her work influenced you? Share your memories and reflections in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this content with your friends and family who also appreciate classic Hollywood. And if you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel for more celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Together, let's keep the legacy of Laren Day alive and thrive.